incredible script this is. It is. Well, what, what was your feelings when you first read it? Well, I was told before I read it by Stephen Frears that it was one of the best scripts he'd read in a very long time. So I was very eager indeed when uh, uh, I knew it was on the way to get my hands on it. And it's a wonderful script. It really is. And then tell us about the, the character that you're playing. You know, what was it about him that you, you wanted to play the part? Well, I would have wanted to be in the film Whatever Happened because I've known Rupert since he and I were 14 years old. And we were at school together. And we did, uh, for five years, we, we played two two plays a term at school together and um, I don't think I played a male figure till I was 17 so we were leading ladies together he played the sexy ones and I played the Mayfair hostesses and nothing's changed <laughs> and when you see where how far Rupert's come I mean if you've known him for such a long time you know that this is the labor of love so it's been a really tough journey for him to get this film made hasn't it well He's got tremendous loyalty, and which is why so many of us who have known him for so long, of course, not only here, but in his film. And um, it, 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 he, he always had Wildean qualities. I mean, he wouldn't have said it, but, but we always knew it, uh, those of us who have loved him. Um, for example, when we were at school together, he built himself a dressing room on the fire escape uh, with fake telephones connected to his agent in LA um, and this was when we were only 14 years old and um, if you were very honored and I was he would invite you into his dressing room and uh, while he was talking to his agent in LA yeah so the star was in the making very early on and, and with regards to the story of Oscar Wilde I mean really this man was, it was a, a trailblazer. He probably didn't see himself at the time, but when we think to where we were then, to where we are now, really it, it was, it, with it being so public, Oscar Wilde's disgrace, for want of a better way of putting it, really did start the kind of the ball rolling for a, a movement, didn't it? Really? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a key point in, his, in British history, uh, of course in global history, but particularly for the British, Oscar Wilde's trial uh, and being called a sodomite uh, 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 is is a very important point in British history. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's dealt with very um, um, sympathetically here, very isn't moving. it? I mean, and movingly, yes, indeed. Yes. I I think too that that what makes Rupert's film relatively unique is that uh, it's not often that. Oscar Wilde's story is, to, it's usually the story of Oscar Wilde's brilliance before his fall, but this is after the fall. Uh, this is the disgraced Oscar with little time left, uh, but it's a wonderful piece of work.